our production of a story of a story inspired by a story. Um, enjoy the show. are justifiable as possible. None of it could really happen. Fantasy characters solve problems using strategies that incorporate magic and other forces. Some famous fantasy authors include J.K. Rowling, Alfred Baum, H.G. Wells, C.S. Lewis, and J.R.R. Tolkien. To kick off this unit, you will be writing a fantasy story. It should include magic, supernatural elements, and at least three different species of characters. You should also have a hero, a villain, and a mentor. Fantasy stories tend to be long, so I want yours to be at least five pages. Single space. The next day. Once upon a time, there was a princess locked in a tower. No. <laughs> a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. No. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing? I mean, I'm trying to get this fantasy st story started, but I don't really know how to write it. You know, I just finished reading The Hobbit, and I think it's some pretty cool stuff. The author, J.R.R. Tolkien, has a really unique writing style. He was in World War One, and his life in the trenches influenced some of the settings in his writing and stuff. He was also Catholic, so his stories could be interpreted ha as having Christian allegories, and couple in the story, Luthien and Baran, the Lord of the Rings, were inspired by his love for his wife. Maybe you can learn a few things by reading one of his books? Um, no thanks, but if I have any questions, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about J.R.R. Tolkien's life. I expect copious notes. They will be collected at the end of class. Copious notes. It was, um, they will be collected at the end of class. <laughs> He was born January 3rd, 1892, in Bloemfontein, South Africa. His dad died in 1896 when he was young. He was orphaned in 1904 when his mother died of diabetes. He then traveled between foster homes in England with his brother. He met his future wife, Edith, when he was in high school, and they later got married. Together, they had four kids. He went to King Edward School of Exeter College. He worked at the University of Leeds in 1920, and then he became a professor in Oxford University. During World War I, he served in the British Army. Edith, his wife, died in 1971. He later died in September, on September 2nd, 1973, in Bournemouth in the United, the United Kingdom. His son Christopher edited some of his works after he died, and they were later published. Pass your notes, and you may be dismissed. How's your story going? Not so good. Maybe reading some of Tolkien's writing could inspire you, inspired a lot of other authors. Like who? Um. Well, Tolkien introduced many different types of, types of characters like wizards, dwarves, and elves. He, um, he, there's a lot of similarities between Gandalf and Dumbledore, to Frodo and Harry, and Gollum and Gobby. I mean, <laughs> Gollum and Gobby. So which one is more popular? Lord of the Rings tends to be more popular, but mostly because of its originality. Tolkien influenced other book series like Aragon and Star Wars. Nick Grumov even wrote a sequel series. You should try reading this. It's called The Hobbit. Alright, I'll think about it. Later that day... Trying to get this fantasy fantasy story started, but I don't know how to get a plot going. Well, the most common type of fantasy plot type 
thing would be um, a heroic journey, you know, where an ordinary character would be going on a heroic quest. It was popularized largely by an author called Tolkien. I mean, I've heard a lot about him recently. Why do people even like him? Well, to be fair, not everybody likes him. A lot of people think his writing is pretentious and that his plot devices are overused because there are a lot of when he breaks with the character. However, he remains popular because of his originality, eloquence, the elements of the elements of fairy that he defined and introduced, um, the new tropes like goblins and elves that he popularized, and the dwarf elf rivalry that he started, which has been continued in other literary works. So I could use some of those elements in my story? Definitely. There's even a writing competition commemorating his work that's coming up. So if you found something to write about in one of the books, then you could probably enter. Well, maybe I should read the Hobbit book. Three years later. We would like to welcome you to this ceremony honoring an outstanding student who inspires us all with his writing. He debuted at the Tolkien Writing Competition for Young Authors, and where he blew away the competition. This year, for the third year, he has swept the competition and is also planning on publishing his own book. We are honored to have the President of the United States here with us today to present him with this award. Please, please welcome the President of the United States and Mr. Garrison Higgins. Garrison, I read your works and I was astounded. I wish you well in your writing career. Ladies and gentlemen, Garrison Higgins. Thank you, everybody. I would like to thank the random girl in the coffee shop the librarian, and my old classmate. I'm sorry I never gave the Hobbit book back. <laughs> Twelve years later! <laughs> Hello, fellow, fellow Gandalf aficionado! How are you on this good morning? What do you mean? Do you wish me a good morning, or mean that it's a good morning whether I want it or not? Or do you mean that I simply need to be good this morning? <laughs> Tolkien was a great author. He gave influence scientific naming, science fiction, New Zealand, and the definition of walrus. <laughs> really? I never knew that. How? Newly discovered species took the names of the characters in his books. One of them is the Star Wars, a science fiction franchise, is named Endor, which is an elvish word for middle Earth. The Hobbit show the Hobbit also showed that a fantasy series can make money. Speaking of money, the Lord of the Rings brought attention and money to New Zealand. They in fact they issue money with the Hobbit on it. They're and they're attempting to name a Hobbit mountain after Tolkien, and they changed labor laws in order to film The Hobbit. And the stamp they put on passwords says, Welcome, welcome to Middle Earth. Well, speaking of influence, I'm having a child, and I would like to name him, my wife and I are having a child. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. I was getting <laughs> And I would like to name him Aluvatar, the spirit of the Cimmerale. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 